You see this? Listen up for it, are you ready? We love the smell of this, don't we, John? I feel a little bit violated. <laughs> And good morning everyone. So I thought I might show you something about this diagnostic tool right here. So my van actually needs to get the AdBlue refilled and it's now showing me that it cannot restart an X amount of miles. And obviously with King Bolan, the e-diag, you will be able to reset that as if nothing's happened. So I'll show you in a second. So as you can see right here, it says cannot restart in 252 miles, refill AdBlue. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be resetting the AdBlue using the King Bolin e diag So we're just loading it up now and as you can see right there all you have to do is go to all system diagnostic or maintenance functions but for now I'm going to go to all system diagnostic and go to the brand that I've chosen. There you go it's found a vehicle now and we're just going to press yes. And now we're going to go to system selection, engine system, Turn the ignition on, which is already is. Firm, special function, pack preparation, and then we're gonna go to service action right here. And then obviously add blue is part of the emission control circuit. And then now what we gotta do is reinitialization of the Dinox system faults. And then just press confirm, operation completed. And just like that, we have now reset the add blue mileage. Obviously I still gotta fill it up and that's why we are at Euro Car Parts this morning. And then all we have to do is press confirm, switch the ignition off, and we just gotta wait again. Now switch the ignition back on, confirm. There you go, and then as you can see, reinitialization successful. And you can see there, it's saying 865 miles now because obviously I need to refill the AdBlue and then that should sort itself out. The message would disappear once I've filled up the AdBlue. There you go, now we're just putting the AdBlue back in. Thank you, Rose. There you go. There is no error codes and it's coming to the ad blue. Just low fuel, so we can go and fuel up. Nice one, let's go. We are on this VW Caddy this morning. Customer states that his clutch has left the chat as per. So have a look at this, the clutch pedal anyway. There is clutch pressure there and then it just disappears. And he's only had the master cylinder replaced probably a year and a half ago, he said. So now we're gonna look at the slave cylinder and look at the state of it. Right, here we go. We've actually opened this up already earlier and we can see here that the slave cylinder is 100,000% leaking. As you can see right there, it's just a pool of brake fluid. So we're gonna be replacing that with an FTE part, AKA Valio. And yeah, we'll go from there. We'll show you how we take this off, I guess. We're gonna need a socket. Oh yeah. Don't use the right tool and struggle, let's do it. This is a tutorial, how to struggle by not using the right tool. Ten mil. Ten mil. Oh please, please come off. <laughs> Hello. Did it come off? Yes, it did. Please, please. Ah. Ah. Nice. It's always annoying that you do it, but look at that, mate. That looks like it's finished. What do you think? I think that's finished. We gotta be mindful on this as well because what happens is that the top hat on this slave cylinder, it likes to go on a run. Sometimes you'll find it in there, sometimes you don't. We'll stop removing the slave. 
sometimes you can't tell if it's hand tight or not. I wonder if it's cracked. I think it's cracked. Usually, it leaks from the rubber boot, but obviously, it could also be that it's cracked. But we'll see. Um, he said he managed to get it home after entering second gear, so in the assumption of his clutch is working. So we're just going to be replacing this first. What could happen? Basically, if this explodes, sometimes it indicates that the clutch pressure plate has failed or the bearing has failed, and then he just pushed it and managed to obviously get this to pop. But, you know, it's very common for these to fail. VW and Audis. But who am I to say until we see it, eh? Please, hey, the top hat is alive and it's still there. Happy days, and it's not even leaking. Let's see it. Where are you leaking from? Nice. Oh, I feel a little bit violated. <laughs> Anyway, all silliness aside, you can see right here that there is a slight crack on the uh, slave cylinder. So here it is, look. Now that's all bled, we have a responsibility to obviously clean that or at least try our very best to clean it. Yes, we did use the bottle. We did use it, right? But that was just from when the other one was leaking. So we're gonna clean it for the customer anyway, because we are nice, right, John? That's right. That's damn right. Imagine they were gonna charge him, how much did he say? 1,200, 1,300? To replace the clutch, it ain't even clutch issue, mate. It's madness. And a little bit of sniffer. We love the smell of this, don't we, John? Love. Adhesive? Oh. Oh. Man said adhesive. Oh, this is running out. Oh, I can't be able to top it up. Just put it in this. Oh, that's your water gone, mate. No, I'm not sharing it with you. No, I'm football. You got monkeypox. No, I'm joking. <laughs> He's I'm joking. got monkeypox. I'm joking. No, I got, I got monkeypox, bro. <laughs> Do I look? To you, struggles, mate. You can't, can't have free speech anymore. You can't even see where monkeypox actually comes from. Sake. Monkeys. I've had enough of this. Can't, I can't say it anymore. I've had enough of this world. Must oh, flap the flap. Flap the flap. Yeah. I can verify that it's not leaking anymore because we fixed it. That's why it's not leaking anymore because it's fixed. Yeah. Clip. There you go. Now it's just a reverse. Put everything back in now. It's definitely in the hole. Why won't it go in now? Ah, there you go. Ha ha ha. Up next. Oh no, battery, sorry. What am I doing? Mate, I'm not thinking, am I? No. Um, no, mate. If we see an ice cream van tonight, John. Dead. What? Dead off. Bro. Defo, defo an ice cream van on it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Mate. Oh, no. Oh, this patch 
why I was going in. God's sake. <laughs> yeah, one amateur, mate. What a name. Um... You know what? I'm scared of these clips now. They like to fly out, you know that? Fly into your eyes. How about... Watch my previous video. <laughs> You'll see this clip fly into my eye. I don't trust them. Pagans. Guys, please, please, yeah. Please, don't kill me for what I'm about to do. But here comes nothing. There you go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Just one click, you know. That's all done. Bish bash bosh. Bish bash bosh, innit? And by the power of magic, we are now on the next job. So this one is a Volvo XC90. This is the Ford Focus SD2 lump. It's the five cylinder beast. Trust me, it's so good. But anyway, customer, we were here yesterday diagnosing the issue with this car. He said that he's got a coolant leak of some sort that he cannot identify. It's just uh, leaking from underneath. So I'll show you what that is. You see this? You see this? Listen up for it, you ready? I'm pretty sure that's not how it's meant to be because as you know, temperature goes up, so does the pressure. So yeah, we're gonna be replacing this whole expansion tank and the lid as well. And with this one, it's actually the OEM Male, as you can see right there, Mal, Male, however you wanna pronounce it. So yeah, let's get to that and um, I'm going to take this apart and we'll go from there. You know what? This, this car actually needs more job. I will show you in a minute what I mean by that. Ooh. Oh my, it's toasting and I'm wearing long sleeve as well. And it's black. Blimey. Right. Need to disconnect the sensor. We're gonna be needing that in a minute as well. It is my heart, dude. All right. Yeah. You ready? Three, two, one. Nice one, mate. All right. I believe this is some sort of temperature sensor more than a, uh, a level sensor, but who knows? Find out. Ah, it's a level sensor, yeah. Cool, man. All right, we'll transfer this to the new one. And just like that, it clips in. Make sure that there's no foreign object inside because sometimes they do leave it there. They leave stuff in there, so we good. Yeah, these are not the original Volvo pipes, man. It's probably had an issue of some sort before. Overheating issue or the, the pipes have split. Oh no, it is, it is the original Volvo. Yeah, that's in there. Cool. Next. And just like that, in seven minutes, everything's been swapped out. Probably less than that, but yeah, let's have a look.
So here we go guys, I don't know if you can see it, but on the cap, um, you can see that it's a little bit destroyed, the seals on it. So yeah, that definitely needed replacing. And I've also suggested to the customer, you know what, might as well replace the expansion tank as well, because this is pretty old now anyway, and we don't know what the state of that thread is like, if it's gonna let it leak out again. As you can see, they've done a previous repair on it. I don't know if, if it's just a gasket maker or what, but we don't know why they did that. Yeah, we're going to be replacing that as well. It's not expensive. So yeah, I suggested it to the customer and he said, yeah, go on, why not? Right, and just like that, she is refilled again. We just added the ionized water in it. And you can listen out to it as I press this. There you go, properly sealed. Now he's got no leaks. Now I'm going to show you a few things that's wrong with this vehicle that we're going to go back to once we've obviously finished with this and once the customer calls us again. He said we have a few things to do and I will show you what I have spotted. So first things first. First problem, listen to this. John, turn the AC on. Give it a little rev. I don't know if you can hear it on the camera, but that compressor is definitely rattling. The next issue that we have is the power steering pump. So John, turn it. Not ideal, is it? Yeah, so that definitely needs replacing. You can listen out to it. You can make music out of that. That's one of the things. And then another one would be this one here. John, turn it all the way to the right. Check out this drive shaft, or shall I say CV boot. That's just one of the few things that we need to do. Um, obviously we need to investigate it further. Hopefully we don't find any more faults, but those are the main ones concerning the owner, let's just say. Now that we're done here, it's fully bled. We're gonna go on to the next one. So we'll see you there. Right, the last customer got to his house and he wasn't there. And as you could imagine, it's a bit of a waste of time, but you know, we move. We're gonna go back there anyway, um, it's a suspension diagnostic. If anything, he just wants an overhaul of his uh, suspension stuff, so the springs and stuff like that, front and rear, um, that's all he wants. And he just wants to make sure that they need replacing, uh, pretty much, but he's saying that the same suspension item has been there for like 15, 16 years, he said. One of the rear ones been fractured and he was like, if I'm gonna change one, must, might as well change all four. I mean, if you've got all the money in the world, do, do it. And uh, he also wants to go for uh, genuine stuff. So uh, yeah, we're gonna do just that. We're gonna go back there the following day and uh, go from there really. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog, let's just say. Hopefully you've learned something new. Like what I always say, if there is something that you've spotted that I didn't do correctly or if you've got something to say, even good or bad, please feel free to put it down in the comment section down below. So thank you very much for watching guys and we'll see you on the next one. Peace! Nice.